Good morning, folks. We've got your daily update on Earth, Sun, and science news from here to deep space. Let's begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours very quiet. There is a bright spot turning through, but it does not have any sunspots within it, no solar flares or CMEs. Solar wind stream intensified overnight with a rise at the right side of the panel showing a coronal hole stream signature in the intensified stream with the KP just beginning to rise this morning. Eyes on that today and for more intensified solar wind for days as the opening is considerable with a trailing dark spot bringing up the rear still not arrived at earth facing position. Let's go next to Mexico, Popo. Two eruptions over a 24 hour period but it was the night eruption that caught my eye. Folks were going to run through it a couple of times just to see it, but what was that off to the right side of the volcano peak as the eruption happened? Almost looked like the eruption hit an invisible power transformer in the sky, blew it out in the V-shaped expulsion with a fiery item dropping downward from the center as the V extends. Very weird. Also weird is this quake off the coast of Australia. Very much above average, but luckily solidly offshore. Australia, I feel like I can't stop talking about you guys the last three weeks. The storms have been relentless and they seem to come one after another. From the hail, which is getting into scary size there, to the flash flooding in the wake and a bit more coming in the forecast. Terrific paper was released last night detailing study of active galactic nuclei and their jets. We've got red radio blue x-ray on top of optical view here. And they do have terrific zoom graphics as well, where they show structure from the widest scales down to the X central shape. You only see half of it on the right there. The other half of the X is at the other pole of the nucleus. Also of note from the study, the disk around a jet producing nucleus must be strongly magnetized. And the jets are collimated, which indicates the axial current is indeed a culprit, as we heard from the National Accelerator Lab in their declaration earlier this week. Up next, we're finding more scientists investigating the global electric circuit, here through potential gradient in urban versus rural areas. That is the next huge wave of weather science, the electricity. And of course, the number one electrical regulator of Earth is the sun, the sixth confirmation of solar activity control over ocean temperatures, and it comes from authors we've cited in our book, Top Notch Crew there. Last but not least, a follow-up to the Fountain Taurus story we heard about galactic centers. By observing the process midway in high detail, they are able to determine the outburst profile of the nucleus, demonstrating the donut and fountain are electromagnetic. Let's go ahead and check out the wavelength viewing options from Chandra of that Abel group, visible light, H-alpha pickup, and X-rays, yellow, red, and blue, plus the composite. Oh, those electric outbursts. Folks, if you didn't see it last night, it's probably the only thing that could ever get me to talk that way. There's a reason 45,000 of you watched it in the first 12 hours. The next end of the world, CIA classified. Check it out. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.